So as they exit the pool, we now will get ready for what is a first of its kind here in the swimming Olympic trials because this is almost a wild card entry. Top two will advance to wave two later on next week where they get a shot to take down, you know, your Abby Weitzels and Simone Manuels of the world. Manuel tied for the gold with Penny Alexiak in Rio in 2016. And let's get to the introductions here. Lanes one through eight for the women's 100 meter freestyle. And first up the stairs with the heart beating a million miles a minute. And here is Marina Speroni out of Club Seminole. She was coached by former Olympic Hall of Fame coach Bill Rose out of Mission Viejo, California. And out of lane two, Christiana Regenauer. Regenauer out of Campbell Hall, New York. And here's Zoe Skirball, who was one of the two who swam a personal best in the heats earlier today, just 16 years of age at 56-13. And here's Camille Spink, the other 16-year-old who swam a PB earlier today, 55-63 for Spink. And she met Kayla Dressel a couple of years ago. That has been her inspiration since 2019. Christetta Pagel out of the Indiana Swim Club in lane five. And here's Mackenzie Leahy out of Council Bluffs, Iowa. The American Athletic Conference 50 free and 100 free titles from a couple of years ago. There's a look at lane seven, Sarah Shackelford. Shackelford out of Burke, Virginia and Virginia Tech. And Trudy Rothrock will round out the field from Carmel, Indiana. And the University of Tennessee, her younger brother Gus, also committed to Tennessee. He will enroll in the fall, so they will overlap in Knoxville for a year. So there are the eights, and let's go back to Camille Spink and the outstanding swim we saw from her earlier today. Yeah, a half a second drop, and this for her is her ticket into that wave two meet that we have just in a few days. And a line line. on top of the blocks and again first and second regardless of time move on to wave two next week a lot of these athletes just teenagers here making their cuts maybe just a few weeks ago but in this final right here i'm going to be looking in the middle two lanes those blue lanes right there especially zoe kerbal who will be in the blue and red lane Laid one to the top, that's Spadoni off to a good start. And the first blue lane toward the top of your screen, that is Camille Spinks. She will make the flip turn in the lead by almost three tenths. 26-2 to the feet, an amazing first 50 split. She's already out faster than what she was this morning, and she just needs to stay in the middle of the lane, find that clear, smooth water, and just get her hand on the wall. And Spink right now in the lead. Spadoni up in lane one. Again, first and second advance to wave two. It looks like Spink may be in the clear in the final 10 meters. The battle, though, six, now seven across the pool for the second place finish. Who gets to the wall first? It is going to be Christina Pagel as Spink wins it and finishing second. Finishes second, and Pagel will join Spink next week in Wave Two. You can just see the excitement on Spink's face, and off the blocks, there she is. Such a critical moment in a short race like the Hunter Freestyle. She has an amazing reaction time. Pretty clean entry right there, and led from start to finish. Here we're going to see the turn where we see her. Already a half a body length ahead of the rest of the field and in a commanding swim by Spink. And that is something that she is going to bring with her heading into next week. She is just on fire right now. Best time after best time, dropping another point four. She was long on that finish, got her head down, hand on to the wall for the win here at wave one. And there you see the official results. Spink and Pagel will move on to wave two. I mean, if this is what wave one is designed to be, we just saw the other seven competitors really within a couple of tenths of a second trying to get that second place spot in advance. And I think we're gonna see that across the board, this entire wave one trials is just very, very tight races. And we will be speaking with Camille Spink and Christina Pagel here in just a moment. And Jeremy Lynn, Camille's head coach. Enjoyed a quick moment with her Olympian head coach and 
Camille, first off, congratulations to you and to Christina. What kind of emotions do you have right now as you are now officially advancing to Wave 2 next week against Simone Manuel and company? Oh, my God. <laughs> this has been my dream for, like, the longest time, and seeing it playing out is so... I'm just so happy. <laughs> Christina, this is your first trials as well. How are the nerves for you heading into tonight's meet, especially tonight's final? I don't really know. I think I was more excited than nervous. And like, I don't really know what I felt, but I was just like excited because it's like a whole different experience. So, yeah. Camille, as we let you guys go, when you were back in the state championships a couple of years ago, you came out with your walkout music to the wobble. Did you listen to the wobble before this event here tonight? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> Will it be a wobble in your future next week? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to both of you. We will Thank see you. you next week. Thank you. Well, that is what this Wave 1 event is all about. Camille Spink and Christina Pagel setting history at the swim trials.